Hey guys, this is Soup here, and I thought we'd kick off this episode with an enchantment. So here we go. Level 50. Hoping for something good. Ooh! Efficiency 5, Fortune 3. That is a good one. Now, you all may be wondering where I am. Um, I have ventured into the cave where I originally found, uh, some diamonds earlier on in the last episode because I did have to make a new map due to some corruption. Um, and I have been gone, I don't think I've posted a video for maybe two weeks. And the reason for that is my cat knocked over the laptop that sits beside my computer fell on my uh, RGB cord because I don't currently have an HDMI cord for this monitor and it broke the ends of it and I couldn't replace it and it slightly damaged the jack on my graphics card so I had to fix that and I had to get a new cord and that's why it's been so long um, but I was sure to keep on building so I'd have something to show you guys um so I made this little pond area here and uh that enchanting area it looks a little silly right now because I just finished it up today um so this is the place uh it's really really tall and there's lots of areas around the side like there and places like this so I'll have a lot of stuff built like that around the central area this isn't going to stay obsidian but for now that's what it will be um, over here I have a mine shaft and over here I have portal to the nether which I will show you guys in just a second um, and this very crude staircase um, up to just this little area where I have my bed. Now take a look at that. 24 diamond. Um, that I think is pretty good. Uh, I also got some coal and stuff. Uh, all this. I got a lot of wool. Uh, so I will explain how this XP farm works. Um, basically, oh, I'm currently on peaceful just so you wouldn't have to bear with the noise uh, but normally I play on normal so this is I was extremely lucky there's an abandoned mine shaft that goes along here it's actually a really short one uh, I don't think yeah it, it's it goes there it doesn't branch out to the sides until it's over there and there are two cave spider spawners one there and the other one is back like under there or something um... oh crap Just some dirt and i have done a design i will definitely link it in the description it is not mine at all it is uh... all credit goes to exumavoid um, it's an excellent design, uh, how it works, well, I'm not going to go too much into how it works, but basically, it allows that to extend, then that to extend, it, uh, crushes the cave spiders, uh, for 11 hits, 
and then they become a one punch kill um, and these and it automatically retracts except for the bottom piston which holds back all the spiders and then you can retract it so I think I'll just go ahead and do a quick demo here alright a quick note about this little enchanting area um, it was expired by Akatera um, I recently have been really liking his videos too I will be sure to link him in the description as well. I love how ten pieces looked around. And with another brick on the floor here. So I will do a demo of this spawning system. Or XP system. And I'll stand down here so you can see it. Behind this gray wool, that's where the sticky pistons are located. So flip it. You have to battle them first. And then that bottom piston stays in blue, but all of these guys are just one punch. And you get all that tasty XP. Oh, actually, because I moved it, there's a slight error in this. Should be a block right there. Don't think I'll be able to place that, so I'll switch it back to peaceful real quick. While I'm here, I think I'll go ahead and do the level 10 enchantment on this helmet, just for fun. Protection 2, Aqua Infinity 1, it's not bad for level 10. Alright, now I'm going to head into the nether. Um, the nether I've located, the nether portal I've located uh, in here. And I'm not too pleased with where I spawned in the nether. Uh, because this is a really tiny little cave area. I guess, sort of a cave thing. Um, and this is under a huge pool of lava. This is not safe. Uh, yikes. Oh, well, um, I just have this little strip that goes out here. This is where I've picked up that nether brick uh, that I used in the portal. So, there's a little fortress. It doesn't look, actually it doesn't look too little. It's kind of large fortress that's in this area. Holy crap, guys. A creeper decided to stop by right after I had tons of cave spiders spawned. Oh my god. Oh my. I might just have to switch this to peaceful. This is gonna be rough. Oh no. Yeah, there's absolutely no chance. I really don't want to lose that pick. Ooh, and it almost... Oh, that's the other one. All right. All right. Um, I think I'm actually going to do another enchantment. I have 30 levels here. And I'm going to do a bow. So let's see. Oh, fast one. There we go. All right. Hoping for infinity. Uh, don't really know all the bow enchantments, so. Flame one. That's all I get. I've been doing a little bit more mining, just real quick, and I found some diamond. Uh, first time using this pick which has efficiency 5 and fortune 3 on the diamond so let's see what I get 3 1 oh that's it alright well not bad okay I'm back guys uh, I thought I'd do another enchantment 
Uh, I could not find even one level 50 after clicking for a really long time. So I'll just do this level 49. Just fortune 30. Well, I'd be okay with that except for the fact that I already have Energy 5 and Fortune 3 on the same page. I really want Silk Touch or probably Unbreaking. Uh, and uh, I built this temporary roof here um, because creepers kept dropping by. Also, this is a day later and I decided to switch the glass in my texture pack to this. This is credit to Exumafoid, um, once again. Uh, this is the terrain file that he put up. The glass is the only edited thing, I believe. Um, I was thinking what I'd do to wrap up this episode is actually make a nice staircase here. Uh, so I might go ahead and get started on that. Alright guys, I am back, and this is two days after, um, the last, uh, clip I recorded. Uh, if you notice, I've made the GUI smaller. Uh, I think I prefer how this looks, but, um, I decided I'd do this in, to do a little half and half in this episode, so you could tell me which, uh, which size you guys would prefer, uh, don't make any jokes at that. Um, so I finally found a level 50. It takes a really long time to find a level 50 enchantment. I never really realized that until I built this farm and I've been doing a lot of enchanting. So hopefully Silk Touch Efficiency 5. Man. The reason that that's kind of a disappointment is because the first pick, I believe, was Fortune 3 and Efficiency 5. Uh, and then after that, I got Fortune 3. And then after that, I got this one, which is Efficiency 5. I'll stick that here. Uh, the one that was just Fortune 3, I was using the Nether on Glowstone and died. Uh, I didn't capture that. Um, also, I noticed uh, I had this lever here because... I've made this because whenever I'm <coughs> excuse me um, whenever I am waiting for these spiders to gather I would just seal this room off I just sit in here and go AFK so I decided I should do this except I noticed when the, while the lever was still there I was only getting like level 41 maximum about um, so maybe it's just if I put it on the floor, that'll stop. Uh, maybe I'll have to just take it away altogether. I don't know. Um, oh, and uh, you may have caught a little glimpse of that. Oh, there's a skeleton down here. Alright. Uh, I will now turn around and let you take a look at this. What I've done is, um, I have created the stairway, as I said, except originally I was just going to stick it right here, but I decided this was a better location. I also cleared out some, uh, stone that was here. I still do have to move this crafting area, and I'll hide that piston. Um, I minimized the lava that was around here. I don't know if I wanted to totally seal it off or not. Um, from the side of these stairs, I have... Okay, that's not good. Um, I have another fence, uh, and there's glowstone beneath it. Another fence that isn't totally done yet. Um, so the glowstone beneath the stairs, because the stairs look just a tad dark. Originally I had stone bricks, but I didn't like how dull it looked, so I decided to go with wood, and I think it looks really good because there's the fence up here. Uh, and then coming up here, uh, there's this little intersection area, and then it goes that way. I'll probably make it go that way, and this. Um, then it just comes to a bridge, and like I said, I'll be moving this stuff. 
and there's a nice bridge here. Um, I was inspired to do this type of uh, pathway by Akatera. It's it's sort of similar to his. If any of you watch his videos, once again, I will link uh, his channel in the description. Um, he does it differently though. Um, he uses pumpkins and he has like furnaces along the side and I don't know if he uses stone bricks and stuff uh, so this isn't like a copy or anything um, I really like how it looked but it certainly is not the cheapest of pathways but um, I, I really like the way it looks and I kinda cleaned up over here a little and I'm lagging a bit because of the farm here. I think I'll go ahead and harvest. Yeah, so I'll speed this up. So I also lit up uh, other areas because this was darker along the way down. I lit up more areas and I removed this roof. Another thing I'd like to show you guys that I worked on. Um, not really sure I made this, but just this little dome type of thing. Uh, yeah, it kind of was a waste of glass since I don't really have a purpose for this. But I'm thinking I might make this kind of a garden area or something or maybe of animals in here I don't really know I've just been using it as my little access point to the outside world and um, to give you a perspective on how high up this is um, that so that's the ground level uh, wait wrong way I think this no wait a minute this way, yeah. Alright, um, I've brought some grass down from this other outside area. This, um, I don't know if I'll, I'll, I probably will bring it down to the base, but I'm not really sure what I'll do with it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and connect these, just because I can. Um, so... This is how I've been getting up and down from this little waterfall. So, uh, this is a good, from up there, that's a good, like, 60 blocks, I'd say. And I've just been doing, <coughs> excuse me, just been doing that. And, zombie. Oh, that's, alright. So I think I'm going to cut off the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoy what I'm doing for this place. Um, and in the next episode, I will be... Um, uh, probably the next episode, I will be putting this world up for download. Uh, just because I think it will be cool for you guys to check out. I'm always like, checking out the worlds of the YouTubers I watch. Um... Although, a note about the video schedule, um, they probably, well, recently, the way they've been going recently is, uh, I've only uploaded maybe, like, two in a month, which is terrible. I'll actually be able to upload more now. Uh, I th believe I already said that my cat damaged the cord, um, and the port on my graphics card for all this. So, or, I mean, what am I saying for all this? Just so for the recording, um, also, so that put a damper on it, and also, uh, lacrosse season is starting up, and that, I found out the time commitment to that is a big one, so I will not have videos as often, although I will try and get one video per week, which I was doing earlier, and that was throughout soccer season. Uh, I actually play soccer year-round, too, so 
I might have a little bit less time. And I play basketball, but not seriously. It's just a little community league. Um, so on that note, uh, I would like to say goodbye and thank you for watching.